Hey everybody, welcome to Bushes on the Trail. I'm Al and Christy and I are back in Acadia National Park and we're going to two places in this video. Both are popular for sunsets and sunrises. First one is a sunset destination. It is the Bass Harbor Headlight. It's a lighthouse that's very popular for sunsets. It sits right on the water. It's a really nice place. The second one is Cadillac Mountain. It's the highest point in Acadia National Park and actually the highest mountain along the eastern seaboard. And it's very popular because it's one of the first places in America to receive the rays of the sun in the morning. We'll give you some insight into both locations, so it should be pretty interesting. I hope you stick around. All right, here we are at the Bass Harbor Headlight. Now, this is a lighthouse in Acadia National Park. Ownership was transferred to the National Park in 2020. It's only about 35 feet high and was built in 1858. A rainy day here, but still a pretty cool place to visit. Okay, the Bass Harbor Lighthouse. And you can see it is very, very rainy. Now, although it is a rainy day at the Bass Harbor Headlight, it is still a pretty neat place to see. Christy and I enjoyed this visit. It is also a very popular place for sunsets, as you can see in the picture in the upper right-hand corner here on this board. Now, you would view the sunsets from this area just on the other side of the lighthouse, and we're going to show you that now. Okay, well, we decided... We decided that we were uh, going to do the rocks. <laughs> Scrambled from the trail down here in the rain to see that. It's pretty neat. Because it was raining so hard and the, we knew the rocks would be wet, Christy and I originally didn't anticipate taking the trail to do the rock scramble to see the other side of the lighthouse. But once we saw the trail, we couldn't resist and we had to walk down it now. We did not record the way down, but we did record on the way back to give you an idea what to expect if you decide to go on the opposite end and check out the lighthouse either for sunset or if you just want to see this view of the lighthouse. Okay, wet rainy day, but these are the stairs we took down before I had to do the rock scramble to get out to where we could see the lighthouse. There are some wooden steps and a couple platforms that will take you to the Bass Harbor headlight. But it's over behind those trees, right down on those rocks. And it's a cold 55 degree rain. Here's the stairs to go down to get to the rock ledge. Here's the trail you come down to get to these stairs. All right, we weren't sure if we were going to make it down to the lighthouse to see it, so I didn't record this earlier. But this is the trail that leads to the lighthouse. We're going back now towards the parking lot. It's a real short trail. You'll see, there's the parking lot. And over there past the trees, yeah, are the stairs. A little wet and muddy and cold. All right, it does have restrooms here. But there are two ways to see the lighthouse. Here's the parking area, not a lot of parking. There's a ramp that goes down to the lighthouse on the right. And then you have the trail that goes to the rock scramble on the left. Oh, what a difference a few hours make. 
Earlier in the day, we're in the rainy Bass Harbor headlight, and now in the evening, we're getting ready to watch sunset on Cadillac Mountain. Now, in this view, you'll see Bar Harbor as we fade in. It's coming in on your right, and on the left, you will see a sandbar that is only open during low tide. You can walk the sandbar over to Bar Island and explore the island, which is pretty cool as well. Also of note, one of the great things about Acadia National Park is low light pollution, so it's a lot easier to see stars at night. Access Cadillac Mountain with your vehicle, you'll have to go to recreation.gov and obtain a vehicle registration, which will look something like this. You'll have a date and the time that you can enter. Now, 30% of the Cadillac Summit Road sunrise and daytime vehicle reservations will be available for purchase 90 days in advance. And 70% of the Cadillac Summit Road and sunrise uh, reservations will be available to purchase at 10 a.m., two days in advance of the reservation date. All this information is at recreation.gov. Once you receive your pass, make sure you note the start time for your reservation at Cadillac Mountain. You have a 30 minute window to check in and begin your trek up the mountain, but once you're on top, you can stay as long as you like. Just be sure to read all the rules and regulations for Cadillac Mountain on recreation.gov. Cadillac Summit Road offers a three-mile drive to the top of the highest peak in Acadia National Park. Now, along the way, as you see here, there are several pull-offs that offer outstanding views of the area. And there's parking available at the top at two different locations, one at the summit and one partway down as well. There's also restrooms and a gift shop and several scenic overlooks at the top. Oh, wow. And here's the Cadillac Mountain Eco Gift Store. Got a lot of neat things inside. Sweatshirts, novelties. They do have restrooms there. And this is on top of the mountain. Cadillac Highlights. You've arrived at Cadillac Mountain at 1,530 feet. It is the highest mountain on the eastern seaboard of the United States and the only mountain in Acadia with a motor vehicle road to the top. Now, this is not the highest mountain east of the Mississippi, just on the eastern seaboard. The highest mountain east of the Mississippi is in Pisgah, I believe, National Forest. And that's Mount Mitchell. And then there are several mountains, obviously, in the Smokies and Shenandoahs with higher elevation than this. But the views here look beautiful. Okay, there's a trail up here on Cadillac Mountain. You go to uh, basically see all 360 degree views of the area wow tell you right now there's no way these views videos and photos are going to do this justice Now, Christy and I have been on mountains that are much taller than this one, actually 5,000 feet taller than this one, like Mount Mitchell, Klingman's Dome in the Smokies, Mount LeConte in the Smokies. And those views are majestic and breathtaking. Now, what we love about this mountain is, yes, the views are nice and really pretty, but you can make out land masses and things fairly clearly below you where you've been, like Bar Harbor. Bar Island, places we've hiked, we can clearly see those and make those out, which makes this a pretty cool place. One of the views, it's Bar Harbor in the distance. Yes, it is, it's Bar Harbor. As you can see, the Bar, Bar Island and the sandbar in the distance is starting to, is open. We can walk across it, so there's Bar Harbor. Wow. 
Lao Skudik Peninsula over there. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at that. Obviously the sunrise portion area. Sun comes out over the ocean. See, this trail just goes around the edges of the mountaintop. Pretty nice. Uh, sort of compressed gravel into the stone. Has good grip. Pretty easy. Views are fantastic. Oh my goodness. A little chilly. Um, 50 degrees, 50 some degrees at the campsite. So, what? So, 54 degrees, and that's without the wind. Probably a little colder than that. A volcanic landscape exposed. Wow, so we are right here. Erosion removed the softening outer layers of this rock. Huh. Interesting. Most of Mount Desert Island is composed of Cadillac Mountain granite. And there's Bar Harbor in the distance. You can see the exposed uh, land bridge now, sandbar to Bar Island. Wow. There's a lighthouse off in the distance, it looks like. Okay. Come up here for sunrise that way. And sunrise occurs like at 4.40 in the morning. Now, the good news is sunset is earlier too, being this far in the eastern time zone. Wow. Okay, and that's the end of that trail. Now going on over to watch the sunset. See the sun through the clouds. All right, here's some of the terrain. There's a blaze, this must be a part of a trail. See the blue blaze. trail coming down here in this opening we're the only ones here 
others looking for parking spots. Can't see the lakes very well, but you can see where the sun's going to go down. <laughs> and came here for sunset, and we are going to get socked in on the mountain. No two ways around it. Mother Nature is not. Well, there's wind and fogs coming off of the different lakes. So not cooperating. And sometimes the best laid plans, well, they slip right through your hands. As we made our way down the mountain, the clouds did begin to thin out, but it wasn't clear enough to actually see the sunset. Nevertheless, it was still a fantastic trip up on top of Cadillac Mountain and something that we would suggest that you must do if you visit the Cadia National Park. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, hit that like button. It really helps us out here on the channel. Also, please subscribe. That way you don't miss any other episodes coming up of other hikes from Acadia National Park and other places throughout the country right here at Bushes on the Trail. Thanks for watching.